What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Huddle. I'm your host John Dunlap. In today's video we're going to be talking about all the hype Nike and Jordan brand sneakers that are headed your way in 2020. This list will consist of all the sneakers that are expected to sell out and most of the sneakers on this list will have resale value. Some will have more than others which I will point those out when we get to those sneakers a little later on in the video. Now a lot of you have been asking when is the Cook Group going to open back to the public because it has been sold out for a very long time. The number one cut group of 2019, the Lace Network, is back and open to the public for a limited time and you guys are going to be very excited. Now you receive a free copy of Laced Up that consists of a one-click generator, proxy tester, Shopify account generator, and a bot profile converter. SMS notifications for shock drops, one-on-one -on -one professional help, the fastest monitors with over 200 sites and for my EU family added EU support. A rewards program to win bots, sneakers and much more. And the Lace Network is not just sneakers. DFS has over a 70% win rate better than any group out there. Now the details to join the Lace Network, you can find the link down below in the video description and the discount code for $5 off in all caps is SH10 and where you're going to apply that code is in the subscription coupon. Now the sneakers that you guys are looking forward to in 2020, we are starting off with a Nike and SB collaboration and that is the Travis Scott Nike SB Dunk that is rumored to drop maybe possibly in February. This sneaker was debuted in the Jack Boys video where Travis Scott was walking at the time. We knew there was an SB Dunk and likely it was his own personal collaboration. Turns out that it is. They're rumored to drop in February. Retail and the details are to be confirmed. But guys, you can expect these to sell for about $500 and up. Now next sneaker on the list is the Air Jordan 1 High OG 85 Reverse Bread that is also scheduled to drop maybe possibly in February for a retail point of 190 US dollars. Now these sneakers are going to be extremely limited. You can expect these sneakers to be made in 23,000 pairs. So with that being said, the resale for this sneaker will definitely probably be $700 and up. On February 29th for a retail point of 160 US dollars, we're scheduled to get the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Pine Green that does come with a black and pine green upper with a very tumbled leather with a non-traditional black Air Jordan Wings logo. Now also rumored for February, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Women's UNC to Chicago that does come with a UNC black and red colorway. Now rumored to drop on NBA All-Star Week 2020 sometime in February, most likely around the 15th of the month. For 200 US dollars, we get the Air Jordan 3 Red Cement. Now if you do follow us on Instagram at Sneaker Huddle, which you can find that link down below in the video description. If you do not, we did this rate the fifth for Luka Doncic where he was the one to actually debut this Air Jordan 3 a couple weeks ago. And in my opinion, they look really good. I cannot wait to get my hands on this sneaker. Their resale numbers, it depends on how limited they are going to be. So for example, if they make 50,000 pairs of these, of course they are going to resell in the secondary market because demand is going to be through the roof. But if they do make this a GR and you can get them at your local Foot Lockers, then of course, guys, there will be no resale. So that is to be determined. Now let's speed things up a little bit. The Jordan New Beginnings Pack that is scheduled to drop in February with a Nike Airship PE and an Air Jordan 1 PE. Now the story behind this sneaker is that Michael Jordan, he actually wore the Airship when he was a rookie in the NBA. He then later on switched over to the Air Jordan 2 and he only wore the actual Air Jordan 1 once in the NBA dunk contest. Now a lot of UNC fans have been waiting for this Jordan 3 UNC P for a very long time. So for you UNC fans out there, you finally get the chance to cop this sneaker with the Jumpman Air on the back. Now moving up to the hype, the off-white Jordan 5 cream and also the off-white Jordan 5 black are rumored to drop in 2020. Now, of course, guys, both of these sneakers will be extremely sought after. The hype will be absolutely through the roof. I don't think that these are going to drop in February. It looks like we're looking at possibly a March or April release. But be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for instant notifications. And we'll keep you guys up to date. 
Now also rumored to possibly or maybe not possibly drop in 2020 is the off-white Jordan 1 Cannery Yellow. Now there have been a lot of speculation too. These are gonna release, they're not gonna release. So be sure to subscribe and we'll keep you updated. And speaking of off-white rumors, also rumored to maybe possibly drop is the off-white Air Jordan 4 sale, which I absolutely love this design. One of my favorite off-white designs is the Jordan 4. So if it could drop in this sale color Way, I would be all for it. More hype for you SB lovers out there. It looks like in a high top version of the SB Dunk, Ken Griffey Jr., the kid swinging for the fence, is going to get a shout out on the Nike SB Dunk. These are going to do really well on the secondary market. The Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Royal Toe is rumored to drop in May for a retail point of 160. Now, I really do love this sneaker. I wish that maybe possibly the material on the sneaker that we see here was a little more tumble, but not bad. You can expect these to definitely resell in sizes 11 and under. Uh, we're also talking about Jordan 1s. We're also supposed to get the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Court purple the OG colorway that comes with a predominantly purple upper a white toe and a black swoosh now I really do like this pair a lot more than the court purples that we got a couple years back I think I'm gonna cop this colorway for you Jordan fans out there the Jordan 5 OG fire red is scheduled to come back in 2020 now with all the hype around Virgil Abloh and his Jordan 5s it would not surprise me if this OG does flip for lunch money and 2020 will also receive the Jordan 6 DMP, which is one of the most sought after Jordan 6s of all time. I just really wish that they would have put Nike Air on the heel. Now rumored for summer 2020 is the Jordan 1 Retro High OG tie-dye that is going to come exclusively in a women's colorway. So of course guys, this is just a mock-up for House of Heat. We just know that it's going to be a tie-dye Jordan 1. That sounds really, really cool. So I'm really excited to see what Jordan brand cooks up. If it is a good looking tie-dye with the women's sizing, expect the larger sizes to definitely resell. More Jordan 1s in 2020, we're supposed to receive the Jordan 1 Bloodline 2.0 that is very reminiscent of a Chicago colorway. Now, this sneaker right here is very tempting to cop just because of the similarities of the Chicago colorway. I'm going to have to see what the official sneaker looks like and see if the mock-ups are very accurate, but right now it's looking pretty good. It looks like Drake and Jordan Brand have pretty much squashed all the beef. So we're supposed to receive a brand new Drake OVO Jordan 4 splatter sometime in 2020. And of course, I wouldn't expect these to do as bad as the Raptors did just because, you know, if you do remember the situation, Drake left Jordan Brand to go to Adidas and then that's when they kind of threw his sneakers out. I guess they remanufactured, you know, the... Jordan 4 Raptors without his autograph on them. And then those ended up breaking. His sneaker actually hit the outlets. I would not expect this Jordan 4, very similar to the bread colorway with the splatter uh, and definitely with his six swoosh collaboration about to come. I, I would expect this one to do really well on the secondary market in terms of resale. Now moving on to more Jordan 1s, we're supposed to receive the Jordan 1 Retro High OG Neutral Gray. Now this is a very good looking mock-up provided by House of Heat. If it does look very similar to this, of course guys expect these to resell in sizes 11 and under. For you Nike SB lovers out there for the dunk, you guys are going to absolutely love this one. This is the reiteration of the Atmos Safari collaborations on the Air Max 1 and other silhouettes. They have taken it to the Nike SB and this is a really good looking dunk. These are going to be really profitable. Also another mock-up of a Jordan 1 that is looking quite interesting which I could see the similarities between the orange, the racer pink, and the brown here that Jordan Brand could cook up a very good shoe for 2020. I'm very excited to see what exactly Jordan Brand does for this specific colorway that we're supposed to receive in 2020. Now for you Oregon fans out there, finally the Oregon Jordan 5 PE is scheduled to release to the public. This is a mock-up once again provided by House of Heat to be confirmed what exactly the official sneaker looks like, but it's destined to be great. 
more Jordan 1s, which this one right here is very similar looking to, you know, a turbo green or a, not a crimson tint, but the, I think it was called Hyper Crimson. They released back to back earlier in 2019 where we did receive a shaggy suede upper. It looks like maybe possibly Nike and Jordan brand are continuing that silhouette into 2020 with this white, gray, varsity red and black upper. Travis Scott is back with some more hype on the Air Max 270. Now, I would like to hear your opinions on the sneaker. People either love them or hate them or just want to cop them just because they are a Cactus Jack Travis Scott collaboration. But I will tell you guys, if they come out with a t-shirt with that Cactus Jack with the swoosh as the smiley face, that is the ticket. Now, one of the most hyped sneakers of the entire year is the Jordan 1 Dior. Now, we saw a lot of guys wearing these, such as Travis Scott. I think he got them early, which, of course, he would have got them early because he's Travis Scott. But anyways, guys, these are expected to retail for around $2,000. That is absolutely crazy, but they are also very limited. So if you can, you know, squinch up $2,000, and you can by chance hit on the sneaker if they do drop, you know, at a Nike sneakers, which could you imagine the credit card denials that day? There are going to be so many declined payments because that's just fraud looking like you just spent $2,000 on sneakers. You better call your bank and you better tell them that you're maybe possibly expecting $2,000 plus taxes for a pair of sneakers and they're going to think that you're absolutely crazy. But anyways, guys, I would expect these to resell just because of how limited they are. Once again, for you OG Jordan fans, the Jordan 13 Flint is finally coming back April 2020. Now, I know a lot of you guys are very excited for this release, such as myself. One of my best friends, his brother passed away a little while ago, and he remembers going to wait in line for these sneakers with him while they were kids. So definitely, I gotta gift them with this pair of sneakers. Now, for you Jordan 11 fans, we are gonna receive a low top Jordan 11 low what the, that's scheduled to drop in April of 2020. When you look at this sneaker, it's very similar to the Concours, but of course it's not a Concours because it does not have the purple sole. Now once again, for the OG heads, I know you guys are very excited for the Jordan 5 Top 3 that's scheduled to drop in May of 2020. Now comment down below, will you be copping this sneaker? I think that Jordan 5s, they are going to kind of become a trend in 2020 just because of Virgil Abloh. We're getting the OG Fire Red, we're getting Top 3s, and we got more Jordan 5s, so stay tuned. And here they are, West Philadelphia, born and raised, the Jordan 5 Purple Grape, which no, this is not the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I just totally messed up. This is the Jordan 5 Purple Grape that's scheduled to drop the next month in June of 2020. Now in June of 2020, more Jordan 1s with the Jordan 1 Retro High OG Mocha that looks very similar to the Travis Scott Jordan 1. I really hope that Nike gives us a suede upper on this, but I can promise you that Nike and Jordan brand are not going to give us a suede upper because they want to keep this sneaker as distinct as possible so it goes down in history as you know a very unique Jordan 1 over time, which I cannot blame them. We'll probably get leather on this sneaker. Now one of the best sneakers of all of 2019. The Sakai LDV Waffle is scheduled to drop in two colorways in 2020, a black colorway with a white sole and a white colorway with a white sole. Now, I did not have the opportunity. Well, I had the opportunity to try to cop, took an L, unfortunately, but guys, I have to cop this sneaker in 2020. I really love these on foot and they really, really grew on me because initially I wanted the blazers really bad. I got the blazers somewhere. They're down here in this orange box, which you can't even see that, but I'm not gonna waste time on that right now. I was able to cop the blazers because that's what I actually placed my emphasis on when I got them on foot. They just were not it. I really love this waffle. Gotta cop these. Moving on to more Jordan 1s. We get the Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black Metallic Gold. This will come in a black primarily upper with likely a gold swoosh. Now I can finally say it, West Philadelphia, born and raised, the Jordan 5 alternate Bel Air is scheduled to return back in 2020, which this isn't a return, this is a reiteration of the grapes with no laces that Will Smith rocked back in the day. They're going to reiterate this colorway, mix it up a little bit, and I'm excited to see what Jordan brand Will Smith and the TV show cook up for 2020. 
More Jordan 1s with the Jordan 1 Midnight Navy that is scheduled to drop in 2020. That is just like the low top version that dropped in 2019. Now the low tops did really well on the secondary market. They actually surprised me back in 2019. This was before the Travis Scott Jordan 1 low hype. They did really well. They resold. So I would definitely expect the high top to do extremely well on the secondary market. Now closing off the list before we get into our rumored drops of course for holiday season we are most likely not going to receive the Jordan 11 cool gray that we thought we were all going to receive. We're going to receive the Jordan 11 clear and this is a mock-up courtesy of House of Heat and it's very interesting what we have here. I'm excited to see what Jordan brand cooks up and I hope that it's a Jordan 11 worth copying for the holiday season. Now, rumor to possibly drop, I wanted to put these at the end because I'm not entirely sure. I don't have any information and there are no confirmations as of now, but the Travis Scott Jordan 6 Yellow is rumored to possibly drop in March. I'm not entirely sure if it will or will not. I do not have any information as of now, but be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for instant notifications for every single time we upload a brand new video. And there have been rumors circulating also around Travis Scott and Sakai, which Cheeto Sakai is the designer for Sakai on the LDV waffle. Could you imagine the hype? I don't, I could not imagine the hype between Travis Scott and Sakai on the LDV waffle. I really, really easily 2020 shoe of the year if that were to happen. But as of right now, it's a very big rumor. We don't have too much details to go on as of right now. But once again, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell. If you would like to cop any of these sneakers in today's video, I would highly recommend to scroll down to the description below and join the number one cook group of 2019. It's gonna be the most powerful cook group of 2020, hands down with all the new features and improvements. Guys, it couldn't have got much better from 2019 and all the improvements for 2020, it is absolutely Absolutely mind blowing. I cannot wait to show you all the sneakers that I cop in 2020 here at Sneaker Huddle. So, of course, guys, use that discount code for $5 off. Apply the code in the subscription coupon box in all caps SH10 for $5 off. And of course, once you get into the Discord, DM me at Sneaker Huddle and I'll gladly help you guys as much as possible. But I tell you guys, going back to their one on one support, I go to them all the time for help because they are that knowledgeable. If you think I'm knowledgeable, I am not knowledgeable. I'm kind of knowledgeable, but not as knowledgeable as these guys. These guys are going to take you from one step to the other step in 2020 and cop every single sneaker on this list if you would like to put your best foot forward. Now that's all the information for today's video. If you haven't, please do hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for instant notifications for every single time we upload a brand new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week and peace.